many wonderful storytelling moments inside Hayward Field. Great quote by Bill Bowerman. The purpose of running is to win a race. It's just to test the limits of the human heart. As his statue stands in appreciation and keeping an eye on the clock with that stopwatch. Rich history woven into the fabric of this next generation version of Hayward Field, which they hope will set the stage for a next century of greatness. And we're already on the track ready for the Bowerman Mile. And as Linden, as we get a look at the start list, always a deep field and no disappointment here with the likes of Jakob Ingebrigtsen of Norway and Timothy Chariot of Kenya will be out there in the early part of the race. Seeing Ingebrigtsen and Chariot go head to head in Tokyo and have that little bit of a changing of the guard where Ingebrigtsen finally put away Chariot. He's been 0 and 12 the several times they've met and he finally got the best of him. So this is either changing of the guard or Chariot reinstating his dominance in the event. Craig Noak is the pace setter right behind him in the bright jersey. That's Australian Stuart McSwain, who actually has the fastest mile in the world this year. Ran that in Oslo back in July. It's right where you would expect him to be. He's run like this all year long. He loves to be aggressive. He doesn't want to wait around. He knows his strengths. He's not going to be a guy who has that quick gear shift the last 150. He has to wind up and really get that top speed to dig in as he goes through the race. So it's no surprise to see him here just tucked in right behind Noak. And Ingebrigtsen now has moved up into third position, slowly trying to close the gap between him and the pace setter and McSwain. Ingebrigtsen, no stranger to the Prefontaine Classic. At 16, he came here and became the youngest runner ever to break four minutes for the mile. And now he is an Olympic champion, won that 1,500 beers in an epic race in Tokyo. He is closing that gap now with two laps to go. Longtime moniker of young Ingebrigtsen, young Jakob, and now that's gone, that's been retired. He's still only 20, the youngest man in the field, but it's reigning Olympic champion, and that sounds great, and it looks good on him. He's making the most of it as he tucks in behind McSween. And as the pace setter steps off the track, 152, a very swift first half mile of this Bowerman mile to conclude the 46th edition of the Nike Prefontaine Classic. McSwain looks around and goes, oh no, the Olympic champion's on my heels. It's Ingebrigtsen in second, and then all the way back to the rest of the field. That includes there in the front, Timothy Chariot. But they're now perhaps racing for third as a good battle coming up. McSwain looks over his outside shoulder, and Ingebrigtsen looking very confident, lurking behind him by a half stride with a bell left to go. This has got to be a swing in confidence for him. He's showing that this win over Chariot's not a fluke. You can tell Chariot might not be at his best. He has that forward lean that's been giving him tugs on his hamstrings and glutes, and this is where Jacob puts it away. He says, it's the changing of the guard. You've had this title for so long, and I'm ready to take over. I am the future. And today is being the present of the 1500 meters, the mile here in Hayward. The wave light on the track is actually tracking for a 350 mile, and they are blowing that away as they both find an extra gear. But it is Jakob Ingebrigtsen, now 20 years old, buoyed by an Olympic title, who's going to try to hold off Nick Swain. The fastest time ever on U.S. Soils, 347. But it is a new meet record for the youngster. And we can kill, still call him youngster at 20 years of age. Jakob Ingebrigtsen takes the win. What a performance by him, 347 3. And then, of course, the subplot. He's now the fastest Ingebrigtsen in history. <laughs> Absolutely, changing of the guard all around. And it's not surprising to see him come here and put on a show. He was so focused. Uh, we didn't see him last night at the festivities. He was 
had his head laid pretty low at the press conference. He was here to perform it, and he delivered on that. His dad, father coach, Gert Ingebrigtsen, says he's got a lot to improve. Maybe not cardiovascular, he's going to get a ton better, but he has more room to get faster, and that's a scary thought, Paul. As he talks it over with his brother, Philip Ingebrigtsen, who actually came into the race with the fastest Ingebrigtsen argument at the uh, dinner table, but now it is Jakob, the 20-year-old, new meet record, and the fastest mile ever run outdoors on U.S. soil. Coming up next, except on the West Coast, is your local news for Sonia Richards-Ross, Des Linden, Otto Bolden, Lewis Johnson, and Trey Hardy. I'm Paul Swangard. Three years removed from the last visit to Hayward Field, the stars did not disappoint. A wonderful Prefontaine Classic. Thanks for joining us.